Hello guys, welcome back uh, to this uh, HTML5 course. All right, so uh, Abdu here again. Today we're going to learn more about the SVG, uh, scalable uh, vector graphics, and also about the center tag and um, drag and drop, like in HTML. Also about entities and then um, like local storage in HTML. Okay. Um, all right. First, like uh, to uh, like SVG. SVG, like I said, it's uh, uh, short, like a short name for scalable vector graphics. Okay. What uh, like SVG is to graphics is what HTML is to text. Okay. SVG images and their like related behaviors are defined like in XML uh, text file, for example. Uh, you know, for example, let's say if you have a, a blog, okay, and then you have uh, something called sitemap, okay, it's like where you list all the links, um, their titles, uh, like the posts, okay, and their titles, their uh, links, their uh, descriptions, and stuff like that, okay, in an XML file. And then, like, let's say you send it to Google, and then Google indexes that um, file, and then, so the, like, you can show, like, let's say your website, your, your blog posts on uh, their search engine. Okay, so, uh, or for example, in Blogger, okay, for example, use like Google's uh, own like uh, uh, blogging software, Blogger, you will see like uh, their XML, I mean, or their sitemap is only in XML because sometimes, for example, say in WordPress, their um, sitemap sometimes it can be like in uh, HTML, but like uh, on the background, it's uh, XML, okay, so uh, anyway. Uh, so these files, you know, that means they can be searched, indexed, and scripted, and also compressed. And also this means they can be, uh, like, created and edited with any, um, like, text editor, okay, uh, or with, uh, like, any drawing software. Uh, all right, let me show you an example first. See, here I have, like, Google's, uh, like, uh, image here, see, in this VG format. See here, refresh. Okay, remember yesterday about um, uh, the canvas when we uh, click, like right click here. See, it shows you like open uh, the image, like a new tab or open image, save image, uh, and stuff like that. But here, see, you don't see that. Okay, and also here, see like the difference. For example, uh, we can go here and say view source. Okay, you can see here it's in XML. Okay, format. So you can see here. Like this is the code that uh, this uh, uh, G is made of. See, this G is like one, two, three, four parts. Okay, so as well as you can see here. Uh, all right. For example, here about like the PNG. See, like a normal image. We can't even see view the source, but if we click here in uh, like inspect, you can see here it's like. It's used just you know the browser just uses like the image tag and then to show me like the picture that's already in my downloads. Okay, so we cannot edit anything here. Uh, anyway, for example, here let's go back up here. Let's say inspect again. We can change here, for example, uh, colors. Uh, hold on, there's something again wrong with my uh, browser. Let me. All right, so when we click here, let's say inspect. Uh, all right, see here we can change colors, for example, here. See, it says fill. See, we can say, uh, let's see, the first color is yellow. Uh, it's red. It's, uh, let's say, let's put there, let's, let's put brown, okay, like this. Fill with brown. Let's see the second one here. Let's say fill with uh, gray, okay, like this. This, for example, can also use like a hex code like this here. Let's put this uh, like orange or it is close to orange. Let's go back here in a second. Let's change the color like this. Yellow here, let's say white. No, no. let's not say white. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, let's take again another color here. Let's use this color. Okay, it's like uh, lime color okay let's see here lime like this see uh, okay anyway but this is for example you can see here that we only used inspect okay so we didn't like edit the original file so if we go here like refresh it's gonna go back to normal okay because this is just like uh, like in here for example let's say if we uh, go here 
we can for example say we can change uh, we can remove like the the image here see like code so we're gonna say blah 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 uh, see the uh, like it changed but for example if we're gonna go ahead and refresh again see it's going back to its uh, original name because we didn't like edit the original file okay anyway uh, let's get back to our code and like do some examples ourselves okay first like let's get an SVG let's get like a let's say a circle okay you might see here like in all these lessons you always see that I open and close the tag before I write anything that is very important you know because sometimes you forget to close the tags and that creates conflicts okay because it doesn't matter if you are like a senior or a junior let's say developer software engineer whatever people forget okay just like human nature so the first thing you're gonna need to do you know and then you're gonna like have to go like and keep searching and then you're just gonna waste a lot of time so first open close the tag then do whatever you want inside it or in it or whatever okay uh, you know it's like you need to make it like as a habit okay anyway um, let's say here first like width uh, let's say 200 let's say height or let's say 200 is too little let's say uh, 400 height uh, hold on how much let's say also 400 style we're gonna need like a, like at the border so we can see uh, like the radius okay let's say the border here uh, three pixels is enough I think and then solid black okay and then inside we're gonna say circle like this then cx like uh cx like for axis okay axis uh okay let's see here uh, how much let's say 50 or say 100 then like cy like for uh, axis like y and then here we're gonna say also like 100 then radius so we're gonna say how much uh let's say let's say 50 okay all right, just like this, we're gonna close it. Remove this one. Let's let's copy it. Create another one like this. Then we're gonna say here uh, style, uh, and then we're gonna say fill like this. Let's say blue. Or actually, we don't actually even need to use style here. You know, we can just say here. Let's say uh, just like this, like just fill. Okay. Then we're gonna say green. Okay. We don't even need to use the style. Uh, stroke, hold on, stroke, uh, let's say red, uh, what else, stroke, width, uh, let's say, let's say four, that's it, okay, let's save, then go back up, refresh, see, this is the second, and this is, I mean, and this is the first. See the first, it's just like normal. And if we click here, so you can also like change its color, for example, here. If we go here and say, just like fill, like in the color, let's say blue. See, like this. But because again, we change just like with inspect, if we refresh, it's gonna go back to normal. But if we changed it here, then it's gonna stay. Uh, all right, anyway, let's go create another one. Let's say another SVG. This time we're gonna use, let's say another Technique like view box. Uh, how much? Remember yesterday uh, we discussed like about like uh, uh, dimensions. Okay, for example, let's say the first two ones. It's like uh, how we want it to move. Let's say from uh, the right, then from up, like uh, the top. If you want it to go down, uh, what else? And then like the width and the height. Let's say two hundred, or let's say four hundred. Uh, four hundred. Okay, like this, and then XML ns then HTTP uh, www dot uh, what I think w3 uh, dot org yes, two thousand or like uh, one uh, or nineteen ninety nine uh, slash svg. Uh, all right, then we're gonna go down here. Uh, let's see, this time okay, let's create again like another circle. Okay, we created a lot already. Uh, let's say, let's copy everything in here, just like this. 
then we're going to do like this close it remove this VC because these are like avoid elements so we don't need to close them we can close them like this or like this and that's it then we're going to refresh see this is our uh, our third uh, tag okay uh, all right let's create another one it's VG uh, it's VG let's do like this again and then here again height uh, 400 with let's say 400 now hold on with 400 okay uh, without the style this time it closed it again okay anyway uh, let's go this time let's create like a rectangular okay like for ourselves let's say here just the same but like rect okay and then it needs to have its own width let's say 400 uh, here let's say uh, here like uh, 300 okay or let's say 250 250 uh, okay or let's change it like let like me make it the other way around 250 200 uh, no 400 and then height 250 okay uh, let's see right now we can use here for example say uh, style instead okay let's say style we're just gonna put the same tags uh, we put here but like instead we're gonna put them inside uh, the style let's say for example here fill with uh, let's change it look choose a color here say uh, blue violet uh, let's say what else uh, yeah stroke stroke uh, let's say aqua and then we're gonna need stroke width let's say again three okay like this and uh, yeah then we're gonna need to close it again or wait actually we can do like this like slash close it this way okay uh, we're gonna refresh okay this is our uh, rectangular see uh, all right let's see what else you see here we can also use here like hex code okay for example or let's say RGB like this uh, see this RGB uh, all right let's see what else uh, uh, okay let's create another one nice uh, VG in here we're gonna say let's create uh, like a rounded rectangular okay let's say again with uh, let's say 400 uh, height let's say 180 like this and then we're gonna go down here again rect and we're gonna say like x like for axis again 50 y for y axis we're gonna say 50 like radius axis we're gonna say this is like for um like the angles okay how round do we want them to be let's say here 20 uh, ry also let's put it like 20 uh width and height uh, let's say 250 no let's say 150 okay 150 height uh, also 150 okay let's put this one even like also 400 and then let's change this one like 250 250 okay this uh, this actually this uh, this is great okay then let's use style and with style we're gonna let's copy this one right here let's just copy this style put it here and then close all right uh, let's see let's use here opacity like how uh, like visible for example want the color to be okay uh, opacity okay here let's say 0 0.5 let's go refresh Okay, so this is our uh, rounded rectangular. For example, here if we put, let's say, instead of uh, zero, let's say five, even though five is too much. Let's put one. 
you go back up refresh see it's become more visible like this one uh if we go let's say change something else here like with rounded we're gonna put let's say five okay let's put five save go back up refresh see the angles become like uh they're becoming more like a uh, rectangular or like square uh all right so yes uh what tells there is also like another like that's uh, a polygon uh let's see this vg it's just like the same also here uh let's also like put let's let's copy from this one okay like here till here okay we're gonna put it here this vg okay great and here we're gonna say uh, like uh, a polygon okay polygon like this and polygon then points it's unlike uh, like the others okay so this uh, might be like a little uh, complicated you know just just pay a little attention that then soon can uh, understand okay let's say 10 uh, 250 190 it's like the angles uh, 160 and then 210 okay like this and then we're gonna need style uh, we're gonna use fill what color should we use this time let's say lime or wait actually there are colors here let's say no okay it disappeared okay anyway or let's say here again let's say blue Fill with blue, uh, what tells stroke, uh, what color want the stroke to be. Mm, let's say, let's do again another color here. Okay, let's do chocolate. Uh, all right. Uh, then stroke uh, width again. And stroke width, we want it to be, let's say three again okay and that's it and close uh, all right all right that sounds that sounds good enough let's change see this is what it looks like that's like looks basic okay let's uh, let's copy it and do like another one like it here uh, let's see Okay, let's change, let's remove everything here. For example, let's try 110, uh, what else? Or 110, then 40, and 198, 190, uh, 78, 10, uh, what else? 160, and let's say, uh, uh, let's say what? Uh, okay, let's put here even like you know another like uh, like seventy eight one sixty, and then here we're gonna say one ninety eight. Okay, this is good. And let's change here. Let's keep it the same, and then here we're gonna say like uh, fill like rule, and then we're gonna say none zero okay let's go back up refresh see this is what we created uh okay let's uh, let's go change the first number then let's say uh, 120 okay so you can understand more how this works see uh, the angle moved uh let's go ahead the second one let's say uh, five okay refresh see uh let's say the third one let's say 30 okay uh, please pay attention all right uh, here we're gonna say like 150 okay see how it moved if we put here also like 100 let's say 160 for example we're gonna refresh then uh, let's say 58 we're gonna refresh again we're gonna say here 4 we're gonna refresh we're gonna say here 40 something we're gonna refresh again 
and we're gonna say again one let's say 130 we're gonna refresh and you're gonna say here one uh, let's say 160 and then refresh again all right uh, great 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 all right so that's it for the SVG I mean there is uh, a lot more obviously like a lot uh, uh, like a lot of other things that you can do with um, uh, the SVG okay so you can obviously like use W3 uh, like W3 schools again uh, you know there is a lot a lot to learn like to HTML itself despite what's in the tutorials again uh, because you need to keep that in mind okay right now let's go ahead to uh, like uh, the center tag okay so let's use here here we're gonna say like uh, center see like this and like this and here we're gonna say uh, let's see each one okay so we don't even need to use here like CSS okay and here we're gonna say uh, hello world okay and let's put here like another uh, each one hello world two like this let's go back up refresh see hello world it's in the center the second it's in the center see uh, so this is like a uh, here for example see you can go ahead and use like CSS it's like style like this and you're gonna say uh, text align and see and then I'm gonna say like center so this is you see we can just use like the center tag so it's easier okay right now it's in there uh, okay okay uh, right now let's go ahead and try like a uh, drop mm, drag and drop okay like in HTML with some JavaScript okay first uh, let's create like a div Mm, let's see what should we call our dev we need to give it like an ID let's say drag okay style uh, we're gonna say height 500 uh, width let's say 350 uh, padding padding is how it moves uh, actually we're gonna have uh, like actually like an HTML course after this padding is how it moves like from here for example say if we put only f because there's padding left there's padding right there is uh, padding bottom and stuff like this so how it moves like to uh, this way okay so but when we put padding it's like it moves from all these ways like at once okay so uh, all right but we can also go here see we can put like for example here like a padding left like this padding uh, right okay etc but here we're just gonna say uh, padding and you're gonna say like 20 pixels uh, what else let's say margin uh, how much let's say 40 pixels and then we need the border the border four pixels is even more than enough solid black uh, black okay uh all right and right now we're gonna say uh on drop okay this is gonna be our um like javascript tag uh, we're gonna i mean uh, like function we're gonna create later we're gonna call it drop drop me okay and then here we're gonna say event like what's gonna happen then uh all right then we're also gonna add on like uh, on drag uh, on drag over like this then we're gonna create like another tag let's say we're gonna call it my I mean another function we're gonna call it like my uh, my drop okay my drop uh, let's see then event also event like this uh, all right uh let's see let's see let's see and here we can add let's say uh, an image see so like source again html 5.png uh, alt let's say html 5 and png format html 5 pick like in, in png format uh all right okay 
uh, right now let's go ahead and like create our uh, hold on let's put here for example first functions into the of putting them later let's say druggable uh, and then we're gonna say true uh, hold on true and then we're gonna say uh, on drag again uh, yeah okay on drag start and then on drag start uh, we're gonna say drag uh, funk, you know, it's like this is the, again another function I'm gonna create later. Okay, again event. Uh, we're gonna decide like what's gonna happen later. All right, then for JavaScript, uh, script again like this, and here we're gonna create like our first function, my drop. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, where is my drop? Okay, this is my drop. Uh, all right, and then we're gonna say like e like event. Uh, here what you want to happen? I'm gonna say e, like e, uh, then prevent uh, default. Okay, e prevent default. Um, actually, this is actually for JavaScript. I'm not even sure I'm explaining. It. Okay, but anyway, it's uh, like uh, prevent default. Just tells the browser, you know, that if okay, the event does not go like uh, explicitly uh, handled, okay, does not get uh, explicitly handled, its default action should uh, not be taken like as it normally would, okay. Uh, okay, let's create another function. I'm gonna say again another function, and we're gonna say um, drag. Uh, let's see. Okay, drag funk. Yes, this is one. This one. Okay, drag funk also again, we're gonna need to put like an E in there, like uh, for event. In here, we're gonna say E, data, uh, no, hold on, data transfer. Okay, the transfer, and we're gonna say set data. And here, we're gonna say text, HTML, and then E dot target uh, no hold on target uh, dot id okay so here uh, we are saying okay that we want the data to be transferred as text uh, html okay and also we want like uh, the image to be taken by its id okay uh, or to be transferred by its id okay uh, let's see let's we need to create like another function uh, drop me this is like the last one e also here uh let's see what should we say here let's say uh, let's copy this one here uh, like event again prevent default and then we're gonna say like var let's say for example data equals e dot uh, data let's copy this one right here like this Okay, e uh, that uh, data transfer. Okay, yes, just like this. Then we're just gonna close it. Okay, then we're gonna go here. We're gonna say again, like e uh, hold on. e uh, dot target dot append uh, child and then. Uh, yeah, document dot get element. Okay, uh, by ID. Hold on, element by ID. Okay, uh, and then the ID you want it to be like data. Okay, and we're gonna go down here like this. Uh, let's right now go ahead and refresh. Uh, there is no image. Hold on, source up ah, HTML. This is HTML five. Uh, HTML five dot PNG. Okay, let's go refresh because I have this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great. Right now, if we go here and try, I like to drag. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. Hold on here, we made uh, set data instead of get. 
uh, let's see, oh yes, yes, we need to put here an ID, uh, let's say drag one or something like this, uh, alright, I think that's it, let's remove the space we left here by accident, uh, let's refresh, ah, alright, so there we go, uh, now it's working, let's see, uh, let's remove like the text, I mean the HTML, uh, save, go back up, refresh, see, it's also working, uh, alright, because the error we did there is uh, here get and the ID, okay, this is just an accident, I forgot to put uh, like the ID in there, uh, alright, great, so this is how uh, like uh, drag and drop works, see, we can take the picture and put it where we want, uh, anyway, all right, so uh, that's it for um, drag and drop. Okay, so right now let's go ahead, let's remove everything here, uh, and we can go right now to entities. Uh, okay, uh, entities are uh, like frequently, you know, used like to display, let's say, uh, reserved characters like space, copyright, like uh, for example, say dollar, uh, you know, and uh, stuff like that. Okay, let's try for example here. Uh, let's run and say P. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, okay, let's say P, and here we're gonna say this is uh, uh, the entity tag, okay? And here, for example, let's say, uh, let's, try, let, let's start with space, okay? Space is um, A and B uh, is P, yes. This is space. Uh, C, non freaking space. Alright, so we can try like this. Let's say put another, 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 like this. And then we're going to say here, like nonsense. Okay, uh, let's go back up. See, this is the space. For example, let's create like another one like it here. And let's remove uh, this here, okay? And we're going to create space, 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 like this. Okay, let's go refresh. See, this one is only left one... Um, one space okay but here it left uh like c one two three four five etc okay uh let's see uh what else we can also use this let's remove like the uh the space there's actually a lot of um uh a lot of uh like reserved uh, for example let's say uh smaller than and or like less than and greater than for example we can say uh, and hold T like this okay and then we're gonna say here for example and and then we're gonna say and what else GT okay like greater than less than greater than okay uh, save go back up see uh, less than greater than uh, let's see what else let's go here we can try, hold on, okay, uh, we can try what, let's say end, for example, if you want to put like the end sign, uh, we can say, for example, uh, end, and then it's like um, uh, ampersand, okay, like, and then amp, like this, save, go back up, see, and here is end, we can also, for example, go, let's say, here and we can put let's say wait each one and we're gonna say here end okay so let's go back up see it also works but sometimes when you put it like this it might give you like errors like in uh, html documents so it is always preferred that you put it like this like end amp okay so html will know exactly what you're trying to mean uh we can use also let's say each one like for example for uh quotes we can say end and then uh, a code like this, and save. Let's create a let's create a lot. For example, let's say another each one. Uh, what else? Let's say a single uh, like a single code. Okay, uh, we're gonna say end. Uh, yeah, end up was. Let's go back up. Let's get again another each one. Uh, what else? Let's say, for example, a cent. Okay, like uh, like one cent or something like this. Let's say cent. 
Okay, uh, let's create another one. Each one, uh, hold on. Uh, we're gonna say, let's remove this one. And here we're gonna say, uh, let's see, and uh, pound, yes. Save. Okay, we can go back up. See, uh, quote, single quote, cent, and pound. We can also say, for example, uh, H1, let's see, uh, dollar or euro, or let's say, for example, uh, and dollar. See, or for example, and euro and uh, yen, I think, like this. Uh, what else? Okay, let's go back up. See, yen. Uh, what else? Let's say, for example, for uh, copyright. Okay, let's say here, let's put here, for example, first, uh, and euro, and let's make space, and, and then, and dollar. Okay, another H1, and here, let's say, for copyright, like trademark, um, I mean, for a copyright on the trademark, uh, we're gonna say end copyright. Okay, uh, and then let's create another one. Uh, each one again. And then we're gonna say this time, like, uh, let's say for uh, like a registered trademark. It's like a registered trademark is usually like when you see that R, you know, like in an empty circle. That is like a sign of like a registered trademark. Uh, all right. Usually you see that like a lot right now, like for example, even in templates, even though like they aren't registered like trademarks, but anyway. Uh, okay, see, uh, euro, dollar, uh, copyright, registered trademark. Okay, this is the entities. Uh, all right, let's see, what else? Okay, let's remove everything here. Uh, what else? Uh, all right, yeah, so, okay, uh, because I do want to make like this lesson uh, like long. Uh, all right, so yeah, that's it, guys. You know, uh, for this lesson, uh, if you have any questions, obviously again, you know, leave um, your question in the comment down below or uh, in the Q and A, and I'll make sure to answer whenever I can. All right, guys, see you in the next lesson.